Charles Ustazua, a man sent by God. There is no man yet that has what it takes to help God. And every man's allocation is in his location. No man born by a woman is permitted to tell you sorry. I heard what happened. That is not your portion. Your portion is good news in the morning, good news in the afternoon. It never joins any man in the middle. If it's not your alpha, can I show you, it will not be your maker. Things only work for workers. Nothing will ever work until you work. See a thou, a man diligent in his duties. He shall stand before kings and not ordinary people. Besides the tideless sea, the light of God was on the streets, the gates were open wide. And all who would might enter, and no one was denied. No need of moon. the sun to shine by day it was 
was the new Jerusalem that will not pass away. It was the new Jerusalem that would not pass away. that will not pass away. Wow. <laughs> Lift up your hands wherever you are. Begin to appreciate the Lamb of God. The new Jerusalem that will not pass away. Ha ha ha! boko shatakaria. If you see anyone who is not born again, just weep for the person. Not to be saved. It's not to be safe. Father, we give you thanks today in Jesus' precious name. Now, where you hear this kind of song, you are careful to tread your feet. You are, hallelujah. Because we are in the new Jerusalem. I want to teach you something this month. That if for any reason you understand what I'm about to teach you, you will never ever struggle again. Well, if this has anything to do with you, let me hear your vibrating amen. Yeah. Everybody is saying amen. Can I hear just your voice in the amen? Yeah. Say with me, I will never ever struggle again. Throughout this year, throughout this season, I will never struggle again. What I'm giving you this morning is actually what you need. The mystery about the blessing. The mystery about the blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, many very rich people are not blessed. Many very rich people are not blessed. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, let's begin with that. This blessing I'm talking about is not new. This blessing has already been created. My assignment throughout this month is to make this blessing that already been created to be in your life. Amen. Well, I don't know who I'm talking about. Can I hear your loudest amen if you are the one? Let's go back to that scripture. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Meaning, 
The source of true wealth is God. We have to understand this foundation. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power. Don't forget, he didn't say he gives you wealth. He didn't say he gives you money, but he gives you a machine to produce wealth. He gives you power to produce wealth. Meaning, when this power comes upon you, geography is irrelevant. Where you are and your location is inconsequential. When this blessing drops on your life, anywhere they take you to, you must prosper. I didn't hear a vibrating amen. amen. So where you are, where you live, is inconsequential. But just make sure, wherever you are found, that this power, this endowment, called the blessing, is in your life. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power. This power is inside of you. It has no regard for nationality. It has no regard for gender. It has no respect for location. The moment you carry this endowment, this power, you create wealth anywhere you are. So if you do not have it, you can struggle to be rich, but you can never be blessed. What is the difference between a rich man and a blessed man? A rich man has houses. A rich man has cars. A rich man has estates. But as soon as he dies, his riches dies with him. You cannot transfer riches to the next generation. But the blessing of God is from Abraham to Isaac, from Isaac to Jacob, from Jacob to Joseph, from Joseph to Sazua. Now, flashback. 10, 20 years ago, there are rich people you heard of. Where are they today? They were rich, but they were not blessed. It's easy for a blessed man to empty his account for God. You know why? He will produce another one. It's actually rich people that are stingy, not blessed people. Because rich people are afraid that their riches may finish. But a blessed man, the more you give, the more the wealth is coming. Why? There is a deposit of an endowment, there is a machine inside of you that produces the wealth outside of you. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth the power to get wealth. So as soon as this power is in you, creating wealth is your lifestyle. Now what am I supposed to do as a child of God? You must make sure you carry this power that produces wealth. Lift up your right hand up. If I be a man of God, in this prophetic year of taking territory, everyone who is a son and daughter of this house receive the power to create wealth. Receive the power to create wealth. In the oil and gas, receive power to create wealth. In entertainment, receive power to create wealth. In media, receive power to create wealth. Supernatural endowment, supernatural creativity. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When this power is in you and you are a singer, you receive song that has never been sung before. You receive inspiration. When you begin to sing, then we know this is different. This is not just putting instruments together. You got it from a source. Now hear this. Why is the blessing coming? What is the purpose of the blessing? Let's go back to Deuteronomy 8 and verse 18. That he may establish his covenant which he swore unto thy father as it is this day. Ladies and gentlemen, the certificate of occupancy of this earth has been given to Abraham. Abraham 
has the certificate of occupancy of this earth. So as a child of God, you cannot be blessed until you connect to the Abrahamic order of the blessing. The blessing I'm talking about did not come today. It has already been pronounced on a man called Abraham. I want to show you another scripture in Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. The blessing of the Lord, for thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is it that giveth thee power. Any man who is not a tither is not blessed. It's rich people that argue about tithing. Blessed people pay tithe with excitement. Say, I am blessed. When you see a blessed man, the more he gives, it's like, I mean, the best way to describe it, have you ever seen somebody say, please, take it easy on my borehole. I don't want the water to finish. The water in the borehole never finishes. In fact, the more you draw from the borehole, the more fresh the water is. The more you draw, the more fresh the water is. That is the life of a blessed person. But a rich man is scared. If this money finishes now, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Oh, I need to save for any day. I need to be careful. That's a rich person. For a blessed person, put him in the pit like Joseph. He will come out. Put him in Potiphar's house, he will show up. Put him in the prison, he will still manifest the blessing. The blessing of the Lord is what makes you rich. In other words, if the blessing of God is not upon you, if you like, go to Canada. If you like, go to Buckingham Palace. If you like, go to America, you will still remain the same. It's the blessing of God on a person. That make him produce result, irrespective of location. Oh God, help me that these people understand what I'm teaching here. Now, this kind of blessing I'm talking about, you don't need special prayer point for your children to be intelligent. It's part of the package. This kind of blessing I'm talking about, you don't need special prayer for security. The blessing comes with security. It's part of the package. Now, this kind of blessing I'm talking about, you don't need special prayer to live long. It's part of the package. With long life, I will satisfy you. That's what the Bible says. I have never been in an aircraft. I fly minimum three times every week. Minimum three times every week I'm in the air. It has never crossed my mind one day that the plane will crash. Why? That is not part of the package. You didn't connect with me. Say it. I am truly blessed. And I know. Now listen. You can be rich without being blessed. But you can never be blessed without commanding riches. When a blessed man is talking, he talks differently. Because sometimes... There is contradiction between what is coming out of his mouth and the reality. A blessed man can have one shoe, two shirts. But you get confused because of the way he's talking. A blessed man does not talk about today. A blessed man is always talking into his future. That's why Joseph called his brothers. I'm going to be a king. He was not talking about today. He was talking about future. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So sometimes, if you are not sensitive and spiritual, you will think a blessed man is proud. Because of the way they talk. Wisdom Tabernacle. Raka Leadership Institute. Wisdom Medical Center. You see, you see the way we are talking. Somebody who is not blessed, who doesn't understand the language of the blessed man, will look at us and say, what is wrong with this rock of ages people? The way they talk, self in this church, we are talking like that because we are blessed. Yeah. We don't talk our situation, we talk our expectation. Yeah. It's not where we are. Listen, 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 listen. It's not where we are, but who we are. Yeah. Who are we? 
Who are we? We are the blessed of the Lord. Who are we? So when I say, when I say, we are at the billionaires of Raqqa. Hey, hey. It's not today. I am telling you what the blessing can produce. The blessing can produce factory. The blessing can produce anything. The blessing can produce building. When I say, where are the billionaires of Raqqa? I'm not talking about your now. I'm talking about your tomorrow. I'm talking about your future. I'm talking about what God can do in your life. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Nor enter into the hearts of men. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you are a blessed man, people should be careful with you. Because you need sensitivity to match my words with my reality. I trek to church this morning, but I am blessed. You know why I'm blessed? What is the value of the deposit inside me? What is the value? If you take Apostle Charles Osazua to Sahara Desert, I will produce the same result. Because it's not in my environment, it's in me. It's not in the business I do, it's in me. It's not in the school I went to, it's in me. For thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. It is he that giveth thee power. He came unto his own. His own received him not. But as many that received him, he gave them power. Where is the power? Inside me. Where is the power? Inside me. Hey. You need to apologize to God if you fail. You need to apologize to God if you are a poor man. You need to apologize to God if you don't excel. Why? What he gave you is too much to be poor. Oh, Who is connecting this morning? Say, say with me, what I have is too much. To complain. complain. It is the blessing of the Lord on a man that makes him produce results. People who have who don't have the blessing, they work hard. By reason of their working hard, they can make riches. But they are not blessed. You can't transfer riches to your children. Because if you transfer riches without the content of the blessing, they will sell the houses. They will sell the investment. Genesis 22. And verse 15. And the angel of the Lord came unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. Look at verse 16. And said... Now, this was a legislative statement. You know, heaven legislated on the case of the blessing. It was a statement, a proclamation. And said, by myself. You know why God said by myself? He has looked around. He has no equal. There's no man in his class he could swear with. So he said, by myself, if I don't do what I have said, let God kill God. Let God kill God. By myself, I swear. For because thou hast done this thing, I had not withheld thy son, thy only son, Don't forget, Abraham waited for Isaac for 25 years. Then after 25 years, God said, offer him. Now, you connect with the blessing by sacrifice, not by giving. 
David said, I will not give to God that which cost me nothing. Hey, if it costs you nothing, then it will cost God nothing. He said, by myself. Rock of Ages, listen to me today. You know I say you should listen to me? Every man of God has his calling. There are people who have calling to chase demon. My own calling is to make you rich. You are not excited. My own calling is to break the generation of poverty out of your life. My own calling is to make sure in your family, you are the first generation of blessing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I carry something. Who is blessed here today? He said by myself. Still watch that. Have I sworn, say the Lord, for because thou hast done this, you did not withhold your only son. Verse 17. Let's look at 17, ladies and gentlemen. Now take note of something. He didn't say blessings. Singular. So the blessing is a package. Inside the package there is health. Inside the package, there is long life. Inside the package, there is wisdom. Inside the package, there is understanding. Inside the package, there is international business. So it's just one blessing that comes upon you and produces every other thing. That in blessing, I will bless thee. In multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven. And as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed, did you understand that? A rich man cannot talk like this. Because a rich man only knows himself, not his children. Can I ask you a question? Check the whole country. How many rich men's sons have surpassed their father? Because they don't have the capacity. It's only a blessed man that can take it to the next generation. And thy seed shall possess the gates of their enemies. Look at 18. And in thy seed, oh God. Now I've gone beyond you now, Abraham. I have deposited the blessing on you. But in thy seed, in your children, that is the nature of the blessing. Lift up your right hand up. I pray for you as your prophet. Any child that came from your loins, any child that came out of you, as the Lord God live it, whatever God has begun with you will be transferred to the next generation. Yeah. 